I'm here with Matt Dwyer, who's taking on Jason Brooks today. Matt, you are coming off back-to-back -back wins. Very impressive. So does that give you enough confidence going into this match against Jason? Oh, yeah. I've uh, fought in some pretty stiff competition from my last two fights. So, yeah, I'm feeling ready to go. For sure. What's your game plan like going into this fight? Uh, I keeping it standing. Yeah. Um, I'm comfortable on the ground too. If it goes there, then I'm, you know, I'm ready. So, I'm ready for anything. Now, Jason has won every one of his fights in the first round. Does that scare you a bit? I saw both of his fights okay. and uh, it was it was uh, pretty uh, one-sided fights for him. I don't think he's had a yet a really good fighter like me like challenge him because uh, yeah, I know how to get out of a bad a bad position and uh, I know how to defend properly and I know how to keep the pressure on someone, right? So, I don't think uh, Jason's ever fought in anyone as good as me yet. So, we'll see uh, what happens tonight. For sure. Do you think it's going to be like a Shane Carwin situation whereas like He's he hasn't been, been a cardio in the second. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. I know that's what I kind of figured too, right? Because he hasn't even had his chin tested out. Um, he hasn't been out of the first round yet. Uh, so I have all that experience. I've, I've won fights by decision, you know. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's going to be a good fight. What can I say, right? But uh, he's this is going to be his uh, measuring stick to see where he's really at in him. Is there any fight that you're excited about today, or you were excited about? Nick Austin and Sean Zubor. I want to see those guys fight. I think they're up next, so, yeah. What do you feel about Nick Austin? I mean, I think he did call you out. Yourself and Jason Brooks, he said that he would love to fight you both. Yeah, yeah, well, I know. Me and, uh, me and Austin actually were working on the same job site together. I'm a stucco guy, and he's uh, masonry, so... We were talking about it, so we're, we're, we're prepared to fight each other, you know. We're, we're buddies and all, but, you know, when we're in the cage, it, uh, it'll be a different story till after, I'm sure. So, hopefully he doesn't trash talk me as bad as Zubor, though. So, if he, does, if he does trash talk you, what are you, you going to do? I mean, is it going to be like a Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva situation where you're just like, okay, like, back off there, or... Well, how's that going to work? I'll, I'll, I'll say something back, but I won't start it. <laughs> and last but not least, BJ Penn, Frankie Edgar, the rematch, UFC 118. You know what? I, I think uh, it's hard to say because Frankie Edgar did really uh, beat BJ Penn last fight, but I don't think BJ Penn was himself when he fought Frankie Edgar the first time. He looked a little sick, you know, so I'm expecting BJ Penn to go out there an animal, and uh, yeah, you should probably take this one. Now I'm going to get a little off topic. Power Rangers. Did you ever watch the Power Rangers growing up? Oh yeah, definitely. The, and now the Green the Power green, Rangers that's like, that's what I was just is in like, MMA. He's yeah, undefeated. Yeah. He wants to get signed to Strike Force. Let's say you had the opportunity to ever fight the guy. Would you? Would you want to fight the Green Power Ranger? This is the I'd guy you grew it. up watching. I'd love it. You'd love to fight oh, the Green yeah. Power Ranger. That just if I beat him, that'd just be all the confidence to me. I'm ready to join the show, man. Right. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. What color do you think I'd be if I was a Power Ranger? Uh, pink. Pink? I like that. Yeah, I like pink on you. Yeah? Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. A hot pink? A hot pink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>